What's up guys, welcome to 1216 Media Channel and today we're going to be showing you guys how we did this video, check it out. Stumbled upon a video which was done by one of our mentors in the industry and we decided to recreate it. Now we're going to be showing you guys the step by step process to achieving this video. So just stay tuned and enjoy. From the beginning, you opened up the Premiere Pro and we imported a clip. Now we already had a footage of our, a drone footage from a previous job and we decided to use it for this current video. Now we brought in the video. The next thing you do is you get a song or a music that suits your that is suiting to you or your choice of song and you import into Premiere. Then after that is done. You go to video effects and you click on, you type fast blur and you drag and drop on your video. Max fader was placed at 399, while the max opacity was placed at 100 and the max expansion was placed at 82, while the blurriness was placed at 9.0. Now you can put this at any number you desire at, as long as it suits you and you're able to achieve what you want to in your video. So when that is done, you go take the video back to the beginning. Now you have to start adjusting manually. But first, you have to click on the max part, then click on the keyframe, then, then you start tracking manually because this is going to take a bit of time based on how long your video is. But you just have to be patient enough to go through the process. Now, with every frame, you have to track because it's a new movement from where it was to where it is now. So that is why you need to. In each frame, you have to track the movement so the subject doesn't go out of frame. Do you get? I'll just show you how it was done. Um, I'll have to fast forward these videos to show you how everything was done without any further ado. So with that said and done, without further ado, I would like for you guys to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you very much and bye for now.